All right, hello everyone, and uh, peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, good morning for those who have morning, and good evening, good night, whatever the time is around the world. Uh, today we are waiting for President Trump uh, to make an announcement, and based on this announcement, things will happen. Uh, uh, yesterday we heard that the Iranian, they said, they launched an attack on USA, but uh, the fact it was a fake attack. And this attack, it was just to make, uh, it's for local propaganda, like for their people to say, see, we are powerful, we are even attacking America. The, <clears throat> the Iranian, they announced that there is 80 dead soldiers from America. Uh, the American, and you know, in America, you cannot lie about this. Nobody will risk it. This is America. This is not, you know, because if there is one soldier die, you cannot put him in a freezer and say uh, nothing happened. So in America, you cannot hide this information. It's impossible. Until now, the information saying zero dead and casualty. And here we ask the question, why the Iranian they shot, they shot their missiles if they are not... I mean, what, what the for? Is that firework? It's, you know, it's just a propaganda. You know, they, they promise they will take revenge and they should do something. And yet they cannot beat America. They cannot even hit America. So what they do, they launch their missiles in an empty land. Uh, the, the bases are not even American base. Those are Iraqi base. And those bases are really huge. I mean, there is a lot of empty land in it. It's not like, a, you know, a, a building have soldiers in it. No, it's a huge, huge land. Yeah. So we are talking about tens and, and, uh, and uh, you know, of kilometers, uh, square kilometers. So they launched the attack in purpose to be in an empty land. So in the first, the first thing they will say that we killed a lot of American. This is the lo locally. Secondly, they will say to the world we are powerful and we don't fear America. And uh, and uh, number three, that will make those who support Iran feel better that Iran is really strong and uh, you know they will keep their trust in Iran. Now from the American side. America have to do something about this, even if, you know, this is my opinion, even if they did not kill even a chicken in this attack. But that mean that America was hit and America did not respond. So Trump, he should respond and he should respond harshly. But the problem in USA, the president is not in full control. You see, the, Demo the Democrats, they are controlling the Congress in USA. And the Democrats, like they are the six columns. Look at them. You know, we are in, almost in war and they are taking side with Iran. And not only that, this uh, Nancy Pelosi, the Lucy, Lucy, whatever his name, she go in public in the time of war and she say, we will not let Trump attack Iran. I mean, what the Iranian, they want better support more than the Democrat. And always I ask myself, who is the enemy of America? Is it really the Hezbollah or those Democrats? How in the world those people are shooting missiles at your soldiers? In the same moment you go on TV and you say, we will not let Trump attack back. Which means she, they are giving message to the Iranian, hit our soldiers, don't worry. We will not let Trump beat you back. This is the message, it's so clear. Democrat because of their hate because they lost the office because they are you know they are crazy people they cannot believe that this guy in the office and they will do anything they don't care for America they don't care how many soldiers they get killed all what they care is how to take the authority back shame on you thank God I am not a Democrat actually last time when I went to vote I asked the lady you know and in, in the voting uh, uh, building uh, I'm Republican. Where is the, you know, she said, uh, oh, where, where are you from? I said, oh, well, I am an Arab, <laughs> an Arab American. Oh, she said, oh, uh, usually uh, Arab, uh, they, uh, you know, they vote for uh, uh, Democrat. I said to her, well, I am not stupid. And she was shocked when she heard that, you know, and I look at her like, you know, do you, do you have a problem? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, she's looking at me like, what? You know, and I was looking at her like, what? <laughs> like, what, what? So I am not a stupid to vote Democrat. This party proving day after day 
even though I am an Arab, remember that those people did all what they care. They don't care really for immigrant. They claim that they care for immigrant. If you go in the history of Democrat, they are the most racist people ever. They are the one who was against freeing the slaves in USA, if you do not know. They are the one who support, you know, oppressing the black people. They are the one who support, you know, like they are the one, they are the KKK. And now, because they, you know, after, after some time, they change their agenda because they are losing ground and they decide to say, we are the one who will defend immigrant. But the fact they don't defend immigrant, they want just vote. So they are the one who want to give a green card to everybody. So later they will win the election from those who they give them the green card. It's like, it's a, bri it's a bribery. We give you a green card, you vote for us. Okay? So what are you, an Arab? You are Mexican, you are etc. We will give you a green card. Just vote for us. They don't care for America. They want open borders. They, you know, they, they want Iran to hit our soldiers. And, you know, the, the question is, uh, uh, why in the world somebody, he support his country in the time of attack? Not like two months after. He go live on air and he say, we will not let Trump attack back. It's like saying to the enemy, shoot, shoot, don't worry, we will not shoot back. This is exactly what this, this crazy woman, Balusi, Malusi, Falusi. I mean, this woman is really sick. You like Trump, you don't like Trump. Everyone who love America, he should stand behind his president. Obviously, those people, they don't. They don't care for America. And the funny, all of them, they speak about supporting the poor. All the democratic parties, they speak about supporting the poor, but they are billionaires. Now, Trump is going, uh, before we go to Trump, uh, the Iranian yesterday, because of their trampling, they are scared to death, even though they did not kill any American. Uh, they shut down a Ukrainian airplane and they refused to give the black box to the Ukrainian because obviously there's something wrong. And actually, I saw the video of the airplane coming down in fire, which means it's shut down in the air. Because even if there is an engine failure, the airplane should go down with no fire. But the airplane was shut down on air because of their fear and their stupidity. And not only that, 95% of those who die in the airplane, they are Shia and they are Iranian. Even those who they are not Iranian, they are Shia. You know, I look at the names. All of them, they are Muslims. So because of their fear, they shot at America, they killed no soldier. In the same time, they killed their own citizen. This is how stupid they are. Now, Trump is going to make a speech, maybe, uh, you know, maybe in two hours from now, I think before noon time, he will make a speech. And I believe this speech is very important uh, for what is going to happen uh, after. Uh, Mostly uh, because of the situation in you know politics, he, he might not launch an attack because they killed no soldiers. I mean, they did not even kill a chicken, and this is the whole point. Uh, so he might not do anything, but what he will do, uh, he will uh, extremely put sanctions in Iran to the point Iran will be uh, suffocating; they cannot breathe no more. Uh, you see, this man, he made it clear. You kill one of us, then we will respond. And now they did not kill anything. you know. And this is the whole point of them. For them, they thought by doing this, they will save uh, uh, their, their face. They, they, they will make uh, their reputation that they promised to make uh, an answer and respond. They, uh, you know, Trump, he took the most uh, uh, aggressive and important person in their government. He made him literally shish kebab, hummus, you know. So, uh, uh, he might do nothing because they did not really do anything yet. Not even one, uh, this is what I, you know, even the, the tweet in the front of us says, uh, all Israel missiles launched uh, from Iran at two military base located in Iraq. Assessment of casualty and damage taking place. Now, this is in the time of the attack, so they don't know really what, uh, what, uh, what the numbers, and later all the news saying that there was zero, casualty and I think the Iranian they hope uh, I'm talking about the government not the people 
that he will not really respond and he will, his things will stop here you know but if you ask me uh, Trump he he wanted to respond but the Democrat they will not let him do it however I think it's a golden opportunity for a Trump to respond but he should attack like a very smart way not just go like bomb everywhere attack their nuke facilities they spend hundreds of millions of dollars billions of dollars actually to build it make it into dust again and that will take them 50 years to build it back uh, in the same time they were not even able to be built there because there is a uranium and there is radiation will be uh, same time he can hit all their uh, refinery for oil uh, in five minutes and that's it you know the, the the regime will collapse they are out of money out of oil out of you know the oil in, in the ground nobody can buy it so he should attack but he should do it in a smart way you know like hit and watch and without sending any soldiers we don't want to send marines like yesterday they sent 600 uh, uh, you know special commandos USA and those are very capable people they can go in the palace of Al Khomeini and kidnap the mullah there the head you know they can put him in a uh, in a cage and bring him to America and put him in the museum and we will take a selfie with him so uh, he might do something like that but I don't prefer that I prefer that because that still might uh, risk some soldiers to you know to lose some soldiers and those our our people we don't want to lose any of them uh, we have all the technology to hit and you know people who do not know USA Army they have capability of seeing you inside the car from the satellite life it doesn't matter how small the target they can see you as if you are ne next door right? not even next door so they have a technology this is why they were able to kill this guy because they can you know I mean where, where you will go where you will go wherever you go they see you so uh, we have technology which nobody has and the uh, Iranian they have a drone but their drone is like just basic you know like you know fly and drop some bombs somewhere and uh, they don't have really a full control it's just like the same drone you use for your camera actually it's the same you know they are using the same engines same etc but uh, uh, a bigger battery bigger size etc so i think trump he should go and launch an attack on iran but a very smart attack which let's just say few as numbers big as value their nuke facilities should be gone and this is will be the biggest gift for christmas uh, by the way uh, merry christmas for those who celebrate uh, eastern christmas in russia and greece etc merry christmas to you my friends uh, let me remember something uh, yesterday after i finished my broadcast i found one of those who make donations in patreon to me saying sorry because you support trump i'm going to stop my i will cancel my donation and i said to him feel free my friend to cancel your donation i am not for sale so if there is somebody who think if he make a donation for me that will make me say what he like my friend take your donation and fly with it i'm not for sale I mean look how crazy some people are you think if you make a donation to me you can control my mouth and tell me what to say what not to say I will support Trump you like it you don't like it who care take your money and go I am not for sale if I am for sale the Muslims offer me a lot of money to stop talking about the, 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 the cabbage guy Muhammad Abu Kabsha do you know guys that they call him Abu Kabsha? Or maybe this is the, you just remind me now. Uh, one of the names of Muhammad Abu Kabsha. We should talk about it. And this is not the only uh, time, by the way. I got uh, uh, you know I got you know like people who say we're gonna stop doing donating for you because you said that and because you said that uh, you are defending the Catholic or you are defending the Protestant. I don't care. Go go. I am a person not for sale. I say what I believe. You like it you don't like it it's your business all right never think that you can buy me by a few dollars you send to me even if it's few millions 
Never, I was never, ever, and I will never be for sale. All right? You are blocked? No, you are not. All right. We love busting your lies, continues. Ah, uh, Tata? Tata? Tata, she love. Tata, are you a boy or a girl? Tata love uh, busting my lies. Uh, okay, that's uh, how you can bust my lies. Which lie? Like what? Like what? Okay, like the 99 fish? Or the flying carpet of Allah? Abu Kabsha Sukara Tararam. Ida, ya Abu Kabsha. Then Tarasul Wismak Abu Kabsha. Ya Ragil Ikhtishi. Sami Nafsak Abu Habsha. Abu Nafsha. Abu Kirsha. Abu Kabsha. La Hawla Wala Kuwata illa Bil Kabish. Alright. <clears throat> I was speaking in the Iranian language. I'm sorry. When you hear the Shia saying their prayer, you will die laughing, especially if you speak Arabic. Farid has busted me. They always bust me. Have you ever, done, have you ever heard of a Muslim like Iran? Now they busted USA. I mean, look at this. <laughs> you know, they attack Jerusalem. Sorry, they attack Israel to kick the Jews in the ocean. They lost the war. The Muslim, they claim they busted Israel. They attack again. They lost more land. The Muslims, they claim that they busted Israel and they won the war. The Muslims attack again and they lost the whole Jerusalem. All of Jerusalem is gone. And not only that, half of Jordan, half of Egypt. And then they claim victory. In 1973, they launch a war, and Israel got bust, you know, like win the war with no question, and yet they celebrate victory. I mean, stupid people, what we can do? Your bum is red like a monkey, yet you claim that you are the winner. Okay. And by the way, why you don't? Why those people don't call me as long as they can get me busted? They are intimidated. They are scared. They are terrified. This is the whole point. I will call them. Give me, give me their Skype. You know, if they, if they, if they dare, they will not. <clears throat> anyway, everybody bust Christian. Actually, by the way, if I show you my account in Amazon, I buy a lot of glue because the, the not only they bust me, they crush me, man. The, I was finished, you know. And then what I do after that? I go secretly, like you know, and I put the, I glue myself together and come back singing. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> let them say whatever they say, and you know, people they knew. Here we go. I open. Who who of them dare to open his sky for people to call and challenge life? They don't dare. And even when this Mimi Fufu Sisi so so boy, he said he want to debate Christian. He said to the Muslims. Do you who you want me to debate next Christian prince or etc. or etc.? They said to him a Christian prince, and look what he did. He did not debate me. What is the debate? Uh, mute him, mute this pastor, mute, hang him, hang over him. You know, cowards, potatoes, potatoes, potato, 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 anyway. I'm drinking my Greek coffee. You know, by the way, they call it Arabica, which is funny. The Arab, they have nothing to do with the coffee. They never made coffee. They never grow coffee. They have nothing to do. And some, they call it Turkish. The Turkish, they don't make coffee. They have no idea what the coffee is. This is not Turkish coffee. But in the world, there's a strange names. You know, that's it. You know, somebody, he went to Turkey. He saw it, how they make it there. He thought this is Turkish coffee. This is how the Greek make it. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, Trump, he will speak in an hour or two. And I hope, really, I hope that Trump, he will do spank them badly, but in a smart way. So the first thing they should wipe off from the ground, all their nu nuclear facility. This is the thing which is like bothering everybody. And those people should not have this kind of facility. So what about we take it down? 
he should destroy all their storage warehouses for weapon weapon they are storing for long long time take it they have it in the ground we have missiles can destroy anything ever in the ground so they should hit very very uh, a smart target not only hit just to hit right <clears throat> Uh, no, but we have to admit that, you know, a war with Israel, we, you know, uh, the, I am an Arab and, you know, I know our army there, brother, is so good. I will tell you an example. The Jews, when they have a war with the, with the Arab in 1973, they were saying, Ahmad, Ahmad, stand up. The sniper hit him. <laughs> Ahmad is dead. They say Muhammad, Muhammad, he stand up, the sniper, the, the, the Israeli sniper shot him, he's dead. The leader of the Arab, he said to them, you stupid idiot. If they keep doing this, we will die, all of us. Next time, if he call Ahmad, Ali stand up, not Ahmad. I mean, do you see? Like, come on. He call Ahmad, don't stand up Ahmad, Ali stand up, they will shoot Ali. This way we laugh at them. <laughs> this is how they think, you know. This is how they think and always they think they are victorious. It doesn't matter what happened to them. Here we go, Israel is there, let us see what will happen. If anyone dare to even to shoot a bullet, they will teach you how to behave. And then they will not scream Ahmad and Muhammad. They will use their satellite and they will call you all together, you know. Who wants some coffee? Be honest, who wants, who wants some coffee? I have, This is very tasty coffee, by the way. I make it myself and I, I crush with it cardamom. You know cardamom? Very, very tasty, very beautiful. And I love it in the morning. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, 20 is saying the F word to Trump. A 20, first, not only you are a dirty person, hmm, but obviously your mother, she did not Oh, maybe she is not a good woman because a person who go around and say the F word, obviously he is not coming from a good family. From their fruits, you shall know them. If the F word coming from your mouth, so what comes from, what is, what is going to come from your ass? I mean, look at this. What kind of a creature you are? You don't like a Trump. Okay, you said F to Trump. What you did now? Trump is suffering now. Like Trump, man, like, what happened? Idiot. You say F to Trump, you then say F to Trump, he is in the office, and you are a fool. Then you are sitting in a chat room saying the F word to Trump. <laughs> uh, but, uh, by the way, you can suck your finger. Because your mom, she forgot, what they call it, this one for kids? What they call it? I, I forgot what they call it. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, for me, I support President Trump. There's no question about that. And I hope uh, he will do uh, respond uh, very good way. But as I said, you see in USA, a president, he is just, uh, let us say, he have control only in 30% of the power in USA. He don't have, it's not like, country run by Saddam Hussein one guy he decide and this is the weakness of USA you know this is the weakness of USA uh, <clears throat> but still I hope I hope he, he will he will respond he will do he, he will hit them back in a very very good way hmm? what you think well, I think Trump, he will say the Iranian regime, they hit us and they hurt, they, they killed none. This is number one. So it's a victory for Iran that they are the best to miss the target. <coughs> and he will say, I say thanks to Allah that your missiles, they only hit Iranian aerospace airplane. I mean, what kind of, a, what kind of an army this army is? So you see, if they hit and in purpose they did not hit the bases to kill the American, that is a shame. And if they hit to kill, and it's yes, it's missed. You know, they say they hit more than 21 missiles. 21 missiles, not even one of them hurt a chicken. I mean, why? Like, buck, 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 not even a chicken. 
No, we cannot call Zakir Naik about this because Zakir Naik, uh, he will not support Iran. Iran is a Shia. Zakir Naik will say, a brother and sister. First of all, the Iranians are kufar and they are infidel. And in the end of the day, those people, they deserve to be police. And we are still a Muslim Sunni, we, we don't like them. You know, yeah, uh, Zakir Naik, he will not support it for sure. He's a, you know, those are Sunni who hate the Shia. We know that, you know. Yeah. And the, the, the Nasrallah, the, the, the head of Hezbollah, let me get his picture. Uh, yesterday, uh, 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 Iran hit America. And the Shia, like, Takbir, Allah Akbar, Takbir, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, and daily eggs, you know? You, where you hit America, and where, what you, what you did, you did nothing. Where? If you see the news yesterday and the propaganda of those Shia who support Iran, you will think that USA is burned. I mean, USA became dust. This guy, you see his picture there in Twitter. If he move his little finger, actually his toes, he can make Iran disappear from the map. All of us, we knew that. The fate of a nation is in the fingertips of this man. Nobody can question that. This is why they did not really hit. They did not do anything. It is a firework. However, I believe, as I said, Trump, he should hit back because this is a golden opportunity. Might not happen again. Destroy their facility. So there is no need to negotiate about their facility. About the nuclear facility. Destroy it. Then, why we will negotiate about it in the future? Because negotiation will happen. You see, always those, uh, 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 those, this kind of people, you have to spank them and then you negotiate. Like you grab him from his neck, you sit, make him for, uh, sit in the table, sign here. This is exactly, there is no negotiation with them. And this is exactly what Trump is asking for. He will not negotiate, really. You do this, you do this, you do this, and then we have, uh, we have a deal. No negotiation. But now it's a golden opportunity for USA, and you know, I, 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 uh, Trump, he should ask the Israeli army uh, or Air, Air Force to join in the head, even though without publishing that they join. Because Israel have the best, uh, let us say, pilots in the world. The best, you know, nobody can beat them. Uh, and they have a technology which is maybe nobody have it too. So they can really aim into targets, which is even far down in the ground. You see, when, when Hezbollah they dig into the ground uh, to make a tunnel to go under, under uh, you know, they, they learn from Hamas and from the terrorist Al-Qaeda. So they want to dig in their ground tunnel and go inside Israel. The Israeli, because of their technology, they were able to discover exactly the location, even though it's really deep down in the ground. So... Let us say the specialty, the, the Israeli, they have a, a very good specialty in uh, count, like in, in counting or let us say uh, uh, in tracing rats. You know, uh, Saudi Arabia is still it's a weak country compared to, to what's happening, you see. But Saudi Arabia can play a big role, role in this war. Number one, it's a strategic location. It's very close to Iran. And there is English supply for USA army because you see it's uh, Saudi they buy our weapon so we have a lot of weapon stored there paid by the Saudi which means if if USA go in war Saudi Arabia will pay for it this is number one but we cannot say Saudi Arabia army is an army I mean uh, I think I think their soldiers they will they will be out of gas if they run I think their soldiers if they run they have for sure like a few soldiers they are commanders like special forces but those are just to guard the king they are not really they don't have really an army but they can still they can they can help you know yeah actually maybe maybe trump he should uh, he should make an airplane fly in the top of iran and say hussein yeah hussein and then all they will respond to trump he says we here for your servant, Trump. <laughs> yeah, they hit the airplane. 
the Iranian stupid Iranian uh, army they hit the poor Ukrainian airplane and by the way all of them they are Muslims only the crew are Ukrainian all those in the airplane they are Iranian Shia I think one one almost 150 are Iranian Shia and the rest are Shia but not Iran but I think they are originally Iranian too but they carry uh, like a foreign passport like three of them they are British I think so uh, I mean look at their fear because of their fear they are start shooting at anything around them you see when when somebody is scared anything move around he shoot so the airplane is coming from the airport they thought maybe this is an American airplane and they shot down the airplane hmm? no my friend we don't want to say death to, uh, to Iran we, we are not like them Iran Iranian they are not bad people you know there is this regime is an evil one the majority of the Iranian they are with us and I hope Trump he will free them soon that's why I'm saying this is a great opportunity for Trump to do something the only problem is in the White House uh, it's not the White House is the Congress which is Democrat the majority of the Congress in USA now is Democrat I hope in the coming election all those Democrats will be sent home and will replace them by people who support the president so he can finish his job <clears throat> Seventeen people from Sweden. Yeah, but those are Shia. All of them, you see, all of them they are Shia. They are Shia. They are they are immigrants who live in Europe or England. You know, they are Shia. So they kill their own citizen. Nobody go to Iran anyway, except Iranian. Why somebody from Sweden will go to Iran? You know, nothing. Those are Shia. Those are this. Those are Iranian Shia going to Iran. EMP. What EMP mean? I'm not good in English. EMP. Let us see what EMP. EMP. <clears throat> hmm. What does EMP stand for? <clears throat> uh, Christ our Savior. I'm not sure. Iranian soldiers are like Shia version of ISIS. Yeah, but you know they are not really. I mean, you see those people. They shout. One of one. There is one thing about the the Shia. They shout too much. They do nothing. They shout too much. Nobody scream as they do. Electronic magnet magneto plus. I am. I'm not a scientist. Sorry. The the highest degree I got is my driving license. So I cannot talk about this topic. You know, you can ask me about how to make coffee. I, I will go deep into the topic here, but the one you are talking about magnetic and what is that? Many Iranian Swedes have become Christians. Uh, I know, I mean, there is for sure. I saw myself, but I'm saying, generally speaking, obviously they shut down themselves in the, in the airplane. Right? You were talking about Iranian speak Arabic. Iranian don't speak Arabic, you know. But they use Arabic font. And but the, the most funny things about when the Iranian Shia they pray, uh, it's really funny because you know when you speak Arabic you will hear it, you will die laughing. Let me let me tell you how they do. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. What, what's happening here? Why, why, what happened to your mouth? For you know, almost your tongue is going to drop out. You know, they have a special way to say things like they are trying to like speak Arabic, but it's really funny. Iran using Russian rocket? No, my friend, they don't, they are not using Russian rocket. Russian rocket is very, very accurate, very accurate. This is a rocket they made. They have a Chinese and a North Korean uh, uh, parts, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to make Mexican coffee for yum. Mexican coffee. Are you are you in competition with me now? Look, I. You see, guys. I they copy my ideas. I mean, there is no respect these days. I said I'm drinking coffee. Everybody want to make coffee now. I can come on, show respect. Okay, let me tell you, uh, 
this is what they do we are the Arab we are the we are the one who discover everything as an example we are the one who discover Australia hmm? you believe it or not they are claiming that too yeah uh, we are the one who discover America absolutely uh, Amerigo his name is not Amerigo his name is Ahmed yeah and we are the one who discover the first airplane flying in the world uh, what happened that my grand grandfather he put the like the, the details of the engineering in the bathroom because he was doing poo poo and then the Jewish neighbor he took it from the window of the bathroom and he gave it to the Mossad brother and, and no, actually I have his call I have his phone call after he stole my grandfather uh, uh, the, the you know details of the he said uh, Habibi I got the map Habibi Tell Ben Gurion that we got the map and we are going to make car. Yes, Habibi, I got it from the Arab Nader. Yes, he was doing Purbu. Okay, Habibi. I we have the recording, brother. We have the recording. We have it in details. So we have the proof. So we are the first one who make coffee, first one who make cars, the first one who make uh, poo poo. I mean, nobody can make uh, things like us. Like we are the best. Forget about the rest. No. Actually, we are the one who make who made oxygen. Hmm? Yeah, it's very easy. You bring oak and then uh, uh, give it to the gin. This is why it's called oxygen. Like you give it to the you give the oak tree, and you give it to the gin. And the gin. This is a very very special method. We we you know we discover nobody have it before us. You know, yeah. To use gin to make oxygen. Anyway, I'm not going to share with you all the discovery we are we did in the world. As an example, we are the first one who discovered the shaitan fart when you see Allahu Akbar. So you can imagine what was the smell yesterday in the middle of Tehran. Because this is what the Prophet said. Each time you say Allahu Akbar, shaitan he do fart. You don't believe me? I can show you the hadith. Hello? You know, the Prophet, by the way, he have a special knowledge in farting. I mean, I respect his knowledge a lot. He have like a PhD, uh, higher than PhD in farting. Uh, <clears throat> imagine I made like a, a, a seminar and the seminar Christian Prince today is going to uh, 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 increase our knowledge about farting. Look at this. When Satan, he hear the call of the prayer, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Now he turn his back and break wind. <laughs> So, so as not to hear, look at the devil, man. How we discover that? How the prophet discovered that? And nobody can hear the fart of shaitan. Uh, I think this is called silence, silence fart. What is that, man? I mean, this prophet is so good. We have to be honest. You know, I hope that the mullah of Iran. He will not say we heard you farting in America. We are now because you are the devil. Don't they say America is the big Satan and Israel is the small Satan? Okay, why America did not fart, brother? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, obviously the prophet he have a very good specialty in farting. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Crusader. Uh, you know. We cannot describe the knowledge of the Prophet. Nobody can describe it. Uh, you know, like Shaitan, he wrap himself around your private part if you don't say certain words when you are doing your wife. Like what? Like what? What? Like your wife's in the bed now, she have no clothes on, and now it's time for you to say a prayer, Muhammad, he said. So you stand and be like, here. I'm not going to make it a graphical, but you can imagine. Just imagine, imagine. And now it's time for you to say, Allahumma jannibna shaitana wa jannib shaitana ma rizakna nasi nani 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 By the time you finish your prayer, your wife will be snoring. Or she will have cold. She is naked waiting for you. I mean, this is the time to make a prayer so Allah will protect your private part before you do boom boom. I mean, this is a good religion, man. And it must be serious. Hmm? Anyway, what we can say, yeah, and those people they want to go in war with America. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm the best of all. I mean, I think. Uh, hold on. 
somebody said, uh, Glover David uh, said, uh, you are the best of all. Are you insulting me or what? A brother and sister. First of all, there is no all. I am the only one. <laughs> it's like, you know, Allah, he said in the Quran, Allah is the best of the creators. How he is the best of the creators, but he's the only one. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? He is the best of all. Allah is the best of all, but he is the only one. <laughs> Obviously, the one who wrote the Quran, he was suffering from a bad diarrhea. Oh boy. Did I say diarrhea? I, I did. Man, oh man. How many of you hate me? Come on. All right. I know that you guys, you don't like me and I don't like myself. That's why I don't have a mirror. You know? You know, uh, uh, first time I moved to my, you know, to the house I'm, I'm living in, um, there was a I closed the door of the room I just closed the door of the room you know it was cold and guess guys what happened there was a mirror behind the door I got scared I opened the door I start running I saw myself I mean you cannot believe how scary but anyway you know I uh, I uh, I decided to use this uh, technology it's called mirror by the way we are the one who discover mirror you know I will explain to you later how it's uh, how we discover it because simply mirror is coming from the word mirror and error okay so what happened prophet muhammad he was mirroring around and then he made an error and that caused to make a mirror you know true story by the way yeah we can show you from sahir bukhari yeah uh anyway uh, where we stop <laughs> uh trump is going to speak Okay, let me see. Trump is going to speak, guys. Let me see if this is true. I will. We will put him live, because that will, you know, will be allowed for us to broadcast this. Give me. Let me give me. Give me a second. We can put him live. I will go to the White House. <coughs> White House. And let us see if Trump will speak soon. All right. Ah, here we go. President Trump, live on air. Bingo. He will be live soon, guys. Be with us. I will put him in the screen. You do not need to go anywhere. So here the president will speak soon. Live stream coming soon. Wonderful. President Trump deliver remarks live stream soon. Anyway, I uh, based on what I think, I mean, from what I know, the Democrats they are not supporting him, so he might not do much because nobody got injured. But if there is an injury, I think he he will respond. So this is depend like how lucky the Iranian. If there is an injury then they will they will you know the price will be very high this guy made it clear if you hurt any of us and by the way the the person the contractor who was killed by the iranian shilling at the, uh, the embassy or the, sorry the the iraqi uh, the u.s base he is a muslim mostly i think he, because his name is an arab arab name i, I did not hear the, the first name but his last name is Hamid, and mostly it is it's a Muslim. So even the one when they shot when they when they shells and uh, uh, he's a contractor, mostly maybe he's a translator or something like that, and he have he have uh, he got his citizenship. So uh, uh, even the one they killed from America, he was a Muslim. You know, this is before, not now. This was a week ago. <clears throat> So let us see what uh, President Trump will say, and we are waiting for the His Majesty. Can you please explain 12th sect of Shia, the 12th Imam? Well, it's a uh, you see the Shia; they are uh, a counterfeit uh, of mixed religions. Uh, as an example, you see uh, how many how many disciples Jesus have? Twelve, right? Muslims they copy that and they claim 
because Muhammad, he said something and they adopt it and the Shia, they adopt that idea that there was going to be 12 Imam, 12 leaders, and they are descendants from the family of Muhammad. They will rule and then the supposedly and then Mahdi will come, etc. This is why they call them the 12 Imam, the Ithna Ya'ashariya. But uh, <clears throat> It's a, it's a, you know, it's a fiction religion. Shia is far away from the true Islam, except on one thing, the the uh, muta. They are the only one truly still practicing the teaching of Muhammad about muta. The Muslim Sunni they practice it, but they use different name. <clears throat> uh, CP gentle has Adolf Hitler. So what? Let him have Adolf Hitler. Let the picture of Adolf Hitler help you, brother. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. The one who have Adolf Hitler picture in his profile is dead. <laughs> you know, those people, they think, I mean, you see the whole idea of somebody putting something, supposedly he want to make you upset. Don't make so don't make them make you upset. Just laugh at them. That will make them upset more. I advise you not to only put Hitler a picture there. Why you don't put Hitler and Muhammad in one profile together, brother? Aren't they brother and sisters? Hmm? Actually, the mustache of Hitler looked the same as the mustache of your prophet. Hmm? You see, Muslim they make videos. Supposedly, they will make me upset. They think I am the same as apostate prophet who get um, stressed, you know, like you know, they, they try to stress him. Obviously, he cannot take too much stress. For me, I love, you know, go and make tons of videos. They edit videos. They put them together to make it look I'm saying something I did not say. They cowards, street boys. Don't let those people intimidate you or fool you or even make you upset. Just laugh at them and that will make them more upset. <clears throat> Come on, Trump. I think Trump in the bathroom right now. He is getting a, his gift to uh, to the mullah of Iran. <clears throat> right? You don't want me to be a president, man. If I'm a president, I will uh, I will make the 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 first one. I will I will send the marines to capture the big mullah of Iran. You know, seriously. I will capture him and I will put him in San Francisco and, uh, you know, play a drum next to him and collect money. And we're 50 50 between me and Trump. This is the mullah, this is the mullah. Taradam, 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 mullah here, the mullah here, taradam, taradam, the mullah here, the mullah here. And all the Shia, they will come and kiss his hand and give donation. They kiss his hand, they got, they got the money, and we build the church. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> We love you too, my friend from Indonesia. How are you? <clears throat> no, you do not need. Not, we will not accept even to spend 90 cents in the mullah. Why you want to spend 90 cents in the mullah? What, 100 what? Come on. It is not even worth 90 cents. Oh. Uh, yeah, actually, if I am, I, if I am really in charge, uh, trust me, I will teach them how to behave because we should not. Uh, you see, the world will understand the message wrongly because this is America. And now, if you don't really respond, people will think that, okay, they scared America. Even they killed no one, but still they did, uh, supposedly, they hit. Right? So, uh, so they should. Islamic State of Indonesia. My friend, what Islamic State of Indonesia? You have the biggest night clubs in the world. I met somebody from Indonesia when I was in Asia. They said that our night clubs is not even night clubs. It's like a stadium. Islamic State of Indonesia. Where is Islam in Indonesia, brother? <laughs> Islamic State of Indonesia. <laughs> My friend, when the last time you went to the beach and you saw, uh, you saw the Muslim women swimming with their bikini? Hello? Islamic State of Indonesia. Ah, I, they got a mullah, by the way. He was a cheating and sleeping with the wife of somebody else. Do you know what they did to him? They give him seven lashes in his back. And the lashes is made by a stick, the one you beat the, the fly with it. 
I mean, look how hypocrite they are. They want to practice Sharia ah law. Sharia ah law, it says, if somebody is married, you stone him, you coward. Where is, where is your Sharia ah law? Coward, potato, tomato. You don't like it. You don't practice it. Yet they claim that they are practicing Sharia. Ah. This is Sharia. Ah. This, is, this is Sharia. Ah. This is uh, like watermelon thing. Old watermelon. And then, uh, uh, the Christian they promote uh, uh, gay in London my friend hold on yeah you, okay I want to show you something here we go this is your prophet this is your prophet kissing a man down his belly in the translation here they make it as the man kissing him down his belly which one you prefer you Muslims you promote a gay actually even only your not only that your prophet he promised that in the heaven you will have a bazaar, have nothing for buying or selling except pictures of men and women. And if you like the picture, you jump in it and you are, you are a man. You want to see the hadith, brother? <laughs> Look who's talking about gays. And, just, you know, if you, if you are the same as the camel, he think his back is fine. Look at the mirror, Abdul. The most corrupt, the most lousy, Society is Islamic society. I'm from the Middle East. I remember actually, in order to sleep, I have to unblock my phone so girls will stop calling me. Never give your phone to Muslims. You give it to a Muslim, his household, they will start calling you the females. And that at that time, because there's no internet, you know, it was the only way. You answer the phone. You will see, uh, you know, hello, how are you? Like, who, who is this? I cannot tell you my name. Like, so why are you calling me? <laughs> my husband is here. <laughs> very decent people, very decent. You know, go to the Middle East and see what they do. Extremely decent. Nobody is decent as they do. Nobody drink alcohol as much they do. Nobody, they buy even, they drink a, a, a perfume, even perfume. Go search in Google right now and see how much perfume they, they buy in Saudi Arabia because they want to drink it and they die because of it. Number, if you go and search right now for number one country in the world searching for porn and sex with animals, it is Pakistan. Don't believe me, search right now. And yet nobody speak about ethic, ethnic, and uh, like uh, quality as they do but they are the most corrupt I mean the burqa in the top and underneath there's nothing All right <clears throat> yeah actually there's a there's a story and by the way this is the true story <laughs> I should go soon I'm waiting for Trump what is Trump man what happened to Trump all this all this time is in the bathroom I mean, come on, Trump, you want to make it big? Just give it to the to the, to the the Iranian mullahs. Leave it as it is, okay? Just to throw it at them. Now, look, there's a guy, he is a Muslim uh, 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 mujahid, you know, long beard, Allahu Akbar. So he, he got married. He had bars in his windows. He have a metal door. And he have two doors, actually, which means his wife, she can't even get to the outside door. He locked both of them. There's no phone. She cannot talk to anyone. She cannot call anyone. That's it. Once or twice a week, a woman, she come to visit his wife, wearing burqa. He opened the door. He see a woman. He don't talk to her. Haram. He cannot talk to her. You know, he cannot say, who are you? It's a, no. He go to his wife. He says, my wife, a woman, she is outside. Take her to your room. Okay. So for like five, six months, the women she come almost once or twice a week, sometime more. And the husband, the women she come only when the husband is home. Look at this. So the door will open because it's locked anyway. After more than six months, the sister of this husband came to visit him. And because she is a woman, so she can join the women. He's not allowed to go there. Hala, haram, haram, he cannot go there. So his sister, he told his sister, go and join the ladies there in the room. You know, my, with my wife, she have her friend. His wife, she went there. It was a boyfriend making boom, boom. Boom, 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 halal, halal, boom, boom. So 
Burka is the best way for your wife to cheat on you. First of all, your wife, she can go around and she can walk with the man and you will not know if this is your wife. Nobody can take even picture of her that she is cheating on you. How they will know? All women look the same. Even men, they look the same. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> uh, actually, if you go, uh, uh, I should refresh. Don't tell me he started. No. No, he did not start. You see, I have it running life, so there's no way. Yeah, it's just waiting for a stream, and you see that because it's life. There's no streaming yet. Uh, if you go in the Old Testament, you will see that there is a lady, she was covering herself with burqa, and because of that, they thought she is a prostitute, because this is what women used to do, prostitute. They hide their faces so nobody will know them. Anyway, guys, we are waiting for President Trump. Um, let me call him, see what he's doing. I think, I mean, why, why is taking too much in the bathroom? I think it's big. I think he is saving it and he will dump it at the mullah. <clears throat> let me call uh, President Trump. Tadadam, 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 tadadam. Crystal Prince, I told you don't call me. Zach and I, what are you doing in the White House, man? I thought you're in, pa in Bangladesh now or in uh, Singapore. What, what are you doing in the, in the... I applied for a green card and I'm watching the death of the President Trump. And he told me, if you worth one million deaths, I'm going to give you a green card. He, he, he told you, if you wash one million deaths, you will get the green card. But he don't have a million dishes, you fool. He's making fun of you. He have only five dishes, so you will be watching them again and again and again. This way, you will never get your green card. Christian Prince, I'm very thankful for you are giving warning. And I'm going to speak to him immediately. And I'm going to give him warning. If you don't give me a green card, because already I'm both in death for the last 10 years, and I want my green card now. Uh, uh, just Zach and I, don't tell him that I am the one who told him, or told you. Christian Prince, Actually, I'm going to tell him that you are the one who told me. And because I'm seeking revenge from you, for humiliating me and making fun of me. Let me go. Uh, 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 hold on. There is something I need to tell you. Trump right now is in the bathroom. And if you go in the bathroom, he will... He will uh, do you know what I mean? I, I don't know what I mean. I, I, um, he will throw it at you because he's preparing something for mullah. At the end of the day, you are a mullah too, isn't it? Don't you have a beard and you are growing it? Hmm... Actually, my beard is very small and it's not growing. I use fertilizer to grow it and it's not growing. And I didn't know the reason. I will tell you the reason. It changed the fertilizer. Don't use normal fertilizer. You use diarrhea, halal diarrhea. Okay, I'm going to write the name, halal diarrhea. Where I can get that? It's very easy. Go to any Islamic mosque, it's full of it. Hello. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Forget about Zachary Naik. Now we are waiting for President Trump. Let us be sure that he saves life. Yeah, he's, he's coming soon. Oh boy. <clears throat> Somebody asked me, uh, do you do you write those things before you say, no, I just make them up. Like, <laughs> because they said like, do you like prepare those things before or something? No, I just make them up in a second. I don't have admins? No, I have admins, my friend. Okay, let me tell you. I have Zibril, I have Mikael, I have Israel, and I have Dahiya Kalvi. <laughs> no, I, I cannot do I cannot do a Trump accent, uh, you know, because uh, I'm not going to make accent of the one I support. Hello, come on, yeah. Can you call Donald Trump? I just called him. Uh, are you are you there for what? Ah, I forgot. The prophet said that shaitan he, he urinated in your ears. <clears throat> Actually, you know, I I, I can make uh, sounds of many. Like in the Middle East, there is a, there is many singers and uh, there's a guy. Guys, he's very famous, and I don't know why they like him, but they like him. Uh, his name is Fried Atrash. This guy, when he sings, you think you are going to a funeral. 
you know and uh, <clears throat> but people there they like his uh, songs <coughs> yeah <clears throat> I mean when he sings literally like you feel like his mouth is split two pieces and became like a big watermelon like a boat uh, they do. I mean, I mean, this guy, he is not singing, he is crying. Yet they like him. I don't know why. Unbelievable. You can search his name, Fred Atrash. <coughs> Uh, those who speak Arabic they knew what I just did now <laughs> oh boy what happened to Trump hey Trump we have work to do man one more time what more one more time one more time one more time one more time ta -da 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 time okay uh, you said that Fatima is a fake daughter of Muhammad. Can you explain? Very, very easy. You see, Muhammad is a person who have no kids. He cannot have kids. How we can prove that easy? Okay. A man who have kids, who can have kids, there is no way he had sex with all those women after Khadija and he did not have kids from them. Khadija, she had three husbands before Muhammad. And the age between them, almost they are in the age of Muhammad. So uh, Fatima is the youngest because she grew in the house of Muhammad and she he's a stepfather. He is not her real father, you know. Um, even Muslims, not all of them agree that she is his daughter. <clears throat> Somalia government headquarters, a piece of Islam, my friend. Somalia government. They have a government? They have a government there? <laughs> Somalia, Somalia government. <laughs> when people hear Somalia government, you believe it. You see, this Islamic countries, they are, they will never have peace. Never. Imams or politician? No, in 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 Islam, you see, Islam is religion and politics at the same time in government. So the imam is their politician. That's why they lie a lot. <clears throat> why Turkish and Persian because simply they are different uh, ethnic and different you know they have history they hate each other the Turkish they occupied the Arab for more than 400 years and the Persian they have many wars with the Arab you know the last war the Iranian uh, Persian they have with the Arab it was with a Christian tribe Uh, very famous a story the Christian tribe but those are like a huge tribe you know to the point they can fight the Empire of Persia <clears throat> guys we are waiting for President Trump but uh, he is busy uh, I think he is camping his beard like Mimi Hijab <laughs> I cannot believe it when the guy is in the stage and he's camping his beard. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a comedy. <clears throat> yeah, for sure it's shot by them, you know, but they will not say that. And this is why they are refusing to give the black box of the airplane to the Ukrainian. You know, as long as it's failed by itself, why you wanna why you don't wanna give the uh, the black box where they record everything in the airplane? And I saw the video, airplane was failing down in the ground, it's burning before long before it hit the ground. So obviously they hit they hit this uh, you know airplane. Do you have a beer? What beer? You mean beard? Sure I have a beard. But I have reason in my reasons to have beer. I don't have towel at home. Like, you know, it's very easy, like handy, you know. You finish eating, like you wipe your hand. Uh, you drop your uh, something in your clothes, you wipe it with the beard, you know. And you don't need to wash it. Like you can trim the end where you, you know, make it dirty, trim it, you know. And then it will grow fast because we are Arab. You know, we sleep in the uh, in the morning without beard, we wake up with the beard. 
actually this is true by the way <laughs> I, if I shave at night, I wake up in the morning, I have, uh, uh, like, they grow very fast. I don't know why. I'm sick of it. I'm truly sick of it. I wish I wish this beard will go. I shave it before I sleep. When I take a shower, I shave. I wake up in the morning, I have a beard again. Just eight hours. Man. And the poor Zachary Naik is doing his best to grow it for the last century. It's not a growing. <clears throat> uh, all right you are spending so many fake information no news you're born uh, okay well you know I okay I always spread some fake information as long just to support what you said a brother, Prophet Muhammad, he went in the top of a mule, and this mule was a sexy called Al Burak, and it's white, white brother. Al Burak come to his door and look at his door with her head, uh, sorry, her ass, and uh, 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 she told the Prophet, "Jump in the top of me." The, the Prophet he says, "In the top of you is that sexual thing?" She said, "No, dirty-minded Arab. This is not sexual." right in the top of me so i can take you to allah so he did right and she took him to allah okay this is a true story is that a fake story or a true story hmm? where is the guy who was saying christian prince you make fake story hello who runs iran politician or imam it's the same my friend in their imams is politicians in, in Islam, there is nothing is called partition. The Imams are the partitions. <clears throat> the president of Iran himself is elected by the Imam. Like when they make election in Iran, they claim they have election, but they don't. Because simply, the Imam, he elect like one, two, three, four. Okay, choose from those four. I approve them. So at the end of the day, it is one guy. He is the Imam. He chooses who is going to be president. All right. How to donate? Uh, you can go to Patreon or you can uh, make a donation here. Do we have any uh, any anyone want to say anything to uh, from the Muslims? I mean, uh, Trump, are you going to wait uh, here forever? There is one hundred one thousand waiting for Trump to come out. Okay, I'm jealous now. Why only I have one thousand and Trump he have one hundred thousand? Let me think about the reason. Ah, now I know why he wanted to be a president. He want to have a big channel in YouTube. <laughs> See, now I have a reason to go to Brother Antetar. I'm going to go and become a president. So I go on YouTube, I will have 100,000 do what he be. This is why a president, he want to have a, to be a president, to have a big, a big channel. Look, 100, 2,000 waiting for him. By the time he start talking, maybe we'll have 500,000. So guys, I'm going to broadcast from the White House. So you guys, you will have, I will have more and more people subscribing here. Don't forget to subscribe. Here we go. Sign us, please. Sounds serious. Look, look, look what he have with him. The army. Look, 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 look. It sounds serious. Oh boy, sound very serious. And nobody is smiling. Look, nobody even is smiling. Oh boy. Christmas gift. Look at how they are standing, man. What's going to happen? Sound really uh, scary. Those are the high generals in the in the in the army. Look at their faces. Look at the vice president. Look at the the defense minister. Here we go. This is the president. Look at the sound of the cameras. Oh 
As long as I'm President of the United States, Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. Good morning. I'm pleased to inform you the American people should be extremely grateful and happy. No Americans were harmed in last night's attack by the Iranian regime. We suffered no casualties. All of our soldiers are safe, and only minimal damage was sustained at our military bases. Our great American forces are prepared for anything. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. No American or Iraqi lives were lost because of the precautions taken, the dispersal of forces, and an early warning system that worked very well. I salute the incredible skill and courage of America's men and women in uniform for far too long, all the way back to 1979, to be exact. Nations have tolerated Iran's destructive and destabilizing behavior in the Middle East and beyond. Those days are over. Iran has been the leading sponsor of terrorism, and their pursuit of nuclear weapons threatens the civilized world. We will never let that happen. Last week, we took decisive action to stop a ruthless terrorist from threatening American lives. At my direction, the United States military eliminated the world's top terrorist, Qasem Soleimani. As the head of the Quds Force, Soleimani was personally responsible for some of the absolutely worst atrocities. He trained terrorist armies, including Hezbollah, launching terrorist strikes against civilian targets. He fueled bloody civil wars all across the region. He viciously wounded and murdered thousands of U.S. troops, including the planting of roadside bombs. Remember their victims. Soleimani directed the recent attacks on U.S. personnel in Iraq that badly wounded four service members and killed one American, and he orchestrated the violent assault on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. In recent days, he was planning new attacks on American targets, but we stopped him. Soleimani's hands were drenched in both American and Iranian blood. He should have been terminated long ago by removing Soleimani, we have sent a powerful message to terrorists. If you value your own life, you will not threaten the lives of our people. As we continue to evaluate options in response to Iranian aggression, the United States will immediately impose additional punishing economic sanctions on the Iranian regime. These powerful sanctions will remain until Iran changes its behavior. In recent months alone, Iran has seized ships in international waters, fired an unprovoked strike on Saudi Arabia, and shot down two U.S. drones. Iran's hostility substantially increased after the foolish Iran nuclear deal was signed in 2013, and they were given $150 billion, not to mention $1.8 billion in cash. Instead of saying thank you to the United States, they chanted death to America. In fact, they chanted death to America the day the agreement was signed. Then Iran went on a terror spree, funded by the money from the deal, and created hell in Yemen, Syria, Lebanon, Afghanistan, and Iraq. The missiles fired last night at us and our allies were paid for with the funds made available by the last administration. The regime also greatly tightened the reins on their own country, even recently killing 1,500 people at the many protests 
that are taking place all throughout Iran. The very defective JCPOA expires shortly anyway and gives Iran a clear and quick path to nuclear breakout. Iran must abandon its nuclear ambitions and end its support for terrorism. The time has come for the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Russia, and China to recognize this reality. They must now break away from the remnants of the Iran deal, or JCPOA. And we must all work together toward making a deal with Iran that makes the world a safer and more peaceful place. We must also make a deal that allows Iran to thrive and prosper and take advantage of its enormous untapped potential. Iran can be a great country. Peace and stability cannot prevail in the Middle East as long as Iran continues to foment violence, unrest, hatred, and war. The civilized world must send a clear and unified message to the Iranian regime. Your campaign of terror, murder, mayhem will not be tolerated any longer. It will not be allowed to go forward. Today, I am going to ask NATO to become much more involved in the Middle East process. Over the last three years, under my leadership, our economy is stronger than ever before, and America has achieved energy independence. These historic accomplishments change our strategic priorities. These are accomplishments that nobody thought were possible. And options in the Middle East became available. We are now the number one producer of oil and natural gas anywhere in the world. We are independent, and we do not need Middle East oil. The American military has been completely rebuilt under my administration at a cost of $2.5 trillion. U.S. armed forces are stronger than ever before. Our missiles are big, powerful, accurate, lethal, and fast. Under construction are many hypersonic missiles. The fact that we have this great military and equipment, however, does not mean we have to use it. We do not want to use it. American strength, both military and economic, is the best deterrent. Three months ago, after destroying 100% of ISIS and its territorial caliphate, we killed the savage leader of ISIS, al-Baghdadi, who was responsible for so much death, including the mass beheadings of Christians, Muslims, and all who stood in his way. He was a monster. Al-Baghdadi was trying again to rebuild the ISIS caliphate and failed. Tens of thousands of ISIS fighters have been killed or captured during my administration. ISIS is a natural enemy of Iran. The destruction of ISIS is good for Iran, and we should work together on this and other shared priorities. Finally, to the people and leaders of Iran, we want you to have a future, and a great future, one that you deserve, one of prosperity at home and harmony with the nations of the world. The United States is ready to embrace peace with all who seek it, I want to thank you and God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, you know, as I said, he will not do anything. Uh, I think they will uh, uh, they will go for further sanctions and put more, uh, you know, because there's nobody got injured. And as I said, this is a fake attack. You know, they did not attack really USA. Uh, not even an Iraqi soldier was injured. I thought maybe some Iraqi got injured, but obviously even Iraqi, they are not. So the Iranian, their their game is funny. We will hit an empty land and we will claim that we hit America, but the fact they did not. 
And by doing that, they took the, the, the opportunity for Trump to hit back because they did not hit anything. You know, as you see, not even not. And look how they lie. They said 80 American soldiers get killed. So not even one. So I hope that now, uh, the, you know, you see, he, he is even sending a peaceful message. And you see, because the Democrat, they are trying to eat him alive. The, uh, Trump, he have two enemies, the Democrat and the Mullahs. So he have a war inside with the Democrat who they are betraying America, delivering America to any enemy who want to take it, and the Mullahs of Iran. So maybe some of you were you know, uh, expecting him to do more, but I, I know he will not because nothing happened. It just, it's like a fake news. It's, it was a firework. We, 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 and then we go there, there's nothing, you know? So he did not do anything, but now actually the Iranian regime will use this for propaganda and they will be breathing. <sighs> he will not attack us, uh, you know? But for me, I still believe that Trump is wrong here. He should attack immediately their nuke facility and destroy it. But I think at the end of the day, he have to take the advice of people around him for he, there is a special political situation. And that's why I say in democracy, there's no real leadership. It's there is politics. Yeah, America is not like Russia, you know. Putin is the only one who say what he want to say. He do what he want to do. The rest, he, they obey. And the U.S. say no. The president is just controlling 30% of the uh, of the power. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, Trump, by doing this movement now, he proved the Democrat wrong. He got them busted because they wanted him to go in war, actually. The Democrat, they wanted him to go in war so they can use that against him in the election. You know what I mean? I believe Trump, he will spank Iran after he win the coming election because after he win the election, there's nothing to fear. No election is coming. He will not be president again. And the last four years will be hell for Iran. Hmm? The last four years when Trump get elected because then there's different, you see? After four years from now, after after a year from now, Trump, he will win the election and then he will not care what Democrats say. He will just hit. Right? Uh, anyway, uh, but still for me, if I am president, I will hit immediately their, their, their nuke facility because this is a golden opportunity. So now he have to wait for a reasoning to hit it back. But he said something very important. I don't know what you, if you heard. The first thing he said when he uh, get out, he said, Iran will never be able to make nukes. What does that mean? We will destroy their facility. So it might be that Trump uh, is making the message clear, I will destroy your facility. And he might even wait for a few days and do it. You never know. Because in war, you don't tell the, uh, the enemy, I'm coming. You know, you don't tell them the time and the moment and etc. The best is to do it in, into surprise. So he made it clear he will never have it. Thank God I'm not president. Huh? Maybe this is your opinion. But if I am, you know, this is, first we have the, the most powerful army in the world. And they are no match to us and they are evil. So why I want to wait? If I am really a president, I will not be worried about winning the election. I will be worried about winning for America. This is why we say what we don't have, we have a politician. We don't have really real leaders. Real leaders, they will not be worried about a chair or an office. They will be going for victory for their country. So if I am in the place of a Trump, I will spank them as never before. I will bring them back to 100th century before. And then let me lose the election. Who care? You know, I mean, this guy, well, it's an, it's an, it's a, it's an office. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just do it. Just do it and teach those uh, filthy mullahs how to behave. As simple as that. But, uh, you know, it's politics and he have to work with politics because simply at the end of the day, he is doing politics. All right.
No, actually, they will attack. No, 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 they will attack. You see, the message, the message is clear from the Democrat. They will not let Trump attack back. The, did you hear the news, my friend? Did you hear this woman, the crazy woman, Belusi Lucy? This woman, in the middle of the attack, she starts screaming, saying, we will not let Trump attack back. You know? So the Iranians are not stupid. They heard her. They are the one who is in control of the Congress. And the one in control of the, the Congress said clearly, we will not, we will, they will make even a law. You know? To prevent Trump from taking action. So how this guy is going to protect America? You know? They are giving a clear message that we support you, mullahs of Iran. We support Hezbollah. They support Hezbollah, actually. They are the number one supporter of Hezbollah. As he said, all the money they spend right now in building their missiles and their defense system and their attack system and their terrorism is the money given by Obama. Nobody supports terrorism as much as the Democrat. They are the one who support the terrorists of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. They support the terrorists right now. You know, uh, uh, you know the ambassador of USA was killed in, in Libya because uh, uh, Hillary Clinton and Obama was supporting the Muslim Brotherhood. And the other Muslim groups, they don't want that to happen. They don't want they, they wanted to give the Muslim Brotherhood to Libya. I mean to, to give them to give them the government. And right now the government in, in Tripoli is a Muslim Brotherhood. Because this is the plan of uh, of Obama. From the time of Obama, they give Tripoli to the Muslim Brotherhood. So all of us we knew how evil they, they plan and they, they don't care for America. Obama he was trying to practice what I said for many years, Obama want to establish an Islamic caliphate state. I said that before the word ISIS, even any one of you heard of it. Actually, there's a radio program, me and the brother Osama Dakdok, if you know him. I said there, I said to him, uh, uh, I, I think the day it was when the Muslim Brotherhood, they won the election in Egypt and they became government. The president became a uh, Muslim Brotherhood. So I said to Osama, First of all, I'm not uh, uh, like uh, upset because they became the government. And I told him why. I said, in less than a year, all those Muslims who voted for them, they will know that the Muslim Brotherhood, they are more corrupt than any prostitute in the world. And this is exactly what happened. And I said to him, Obama will not leave the office until he established an Islamic state. And the, pl the plan is from the following, all the way from Turkey, Syria, Jordan, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Libya, Tunisia, and they can go all the way to Morocco. And the caliphate will be Erdogan. This was the plan. But then the war did not go as they wish. The Russian they involved in Syria, they destroyed their plan, they destroyed their Muslim terrorist groups, and, uh, 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 you know, uh, the Egyptian, they kicked out the Muslim Brotherhood from the government. The Saudi Ar uh, Arabia kingdom, they discovered, the intelligence there, they discovered that uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, they want to take over the government. So overnight, they put them in jail and, you know, they chased them from place to place. Same in Emirat. So things flip upside down against the plan of Obama. But the plan of Obama was very simple. We want to surround Israel from all directions by Islamic State and the Caliphate is Erdogan. So they will control a huge, huge geography. Let me show you in the map. So people who don't know what we are talking about. And I explained that many times. You can watch my uh, old videos and you will see how many times we, we mentioned this. Okay, this is the map. Let us show you here. The plan of Obama is very simple and very evil. Turkey already is under the Muslim Brotherhood. Erdogan is a Muslim Brotherhood and his government is a Muslim Brotherhood. The major population of Syria, of the Sunni, they are Muslim Brotherhood too. 
Jordan is the same. Egypt have they won the election in Egypt. So here, if you look in Egypt here, Morsi became a president in the time of Obama by the support of Obama. Turkey is already Muslim Brotherhood under Erdogan. Jordan, the king can be taken off in two days, maximum. And the majority are Muslim Brotherhood. Syria, the, th the only problem they have is Syria. How we can get rid of the, re the regime in Syria? Because we want to connect the dots between Turkey, Jordan, and Egypt. Then the, the, uh, the, the American, they hit the Qazafi and they killed him. And that opened the door for the Muslim Brotherhood to take over. And Obama starts sending weapons to Muslim Brotherhood in Tripoli. Then, after less than a year, the Egyptian, they, uh, they, they kicked out the Muslim Brotherhood leader. And that means that there is no Muslim Brotherhood anymore. Actually, they chased them. And now, if you are a Muslim Brotherhood, you go to jail in Egypt. So, Egypt is gone from the map as a Muslim Brotherhood. And that was the first break. In Saudi Arabia, the secret police, they found that the Muslim Brotherhood, they have a plan to make a coup against the kingdom. So they will control Saudi Arabia. Same the plan was for Emirat. So look what happened. If this is really, if the plan function, can you imagine how big this caliphate of Erdogan will be? Saudi Arabia oil, Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, Jordan, Syria, Egypt, Libya. And Israel is surrounded by those enemies and one country around them. And the purpose at the end is to destroy Israel and establish an Islamic state. So the Islamic state, it was the plan of Obama. Obama was trying to replace uh, Al-Qaeda by the Muslim Brotherhood and the idea is he is as a Muslim he support them I believe he is one of them as a Muslim Brotherhood in the same time he convinced the full American that okay the Muslims are angry from us because they cannot have an Islamic state that let's give them Islamic state by by Muslims who they are not too much conservative uh, Muslim Brotherhood all right he convinced them and he was planning for that then what happened we have a man, his name is Erdogan. And Erdogan, he don't play games. This guy, he makes he, he make shish kebab. Erdogan, he came to Syria after almost the Muslim Brotherhood took almost most of Syria. Most of it, actually, it became under their hand. So look what happened here. This is the Muslim Brotherhood. They start from the north by the help of Erdogan and they start expanding, expanding, expanding. And they took almost everything from here. Oh, we have the death mouth in my computer. Like my computer running too many programs. I hate it. I can't draw now. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's working now. So they took all this area and then little, little tiny area left for the Assad regime, which they are Alawi. They are kind of Shia. So the, the, the plan is working very good. Extremely good. You know, and even they took part of Iraq. And Jordan is very easy. Jordan, the, the army of Jordan is is a smaller than my uh, the number of my cousins. So they take Jordan, and Egypt already became a Muslim Brotherhood, and Libya is in their hand, and then they would take Saudi Arabia and Emirat, bingo. And they took, don't forget, they took Tunisia. Tunisia right now actually is under Muslim Brotherhood. You know, but because there's like almost 50-50 in the election, the Muslim Brotherhood they did not have full control. So it's not totally controlled by them. Then when the when the Russian came and they destroyed the plan of Obama and the plan of Erdogan, the Russian, they clean the territory of the Muslim Brotherhood and they make it under the Assad regime, which you mean under their control. So most of Syria right now is back under the Russian control. So the, the, this, this area here, which is extremely important to connect between Turkey and Egypt and Libya, is gone. Then when the, the Egyptian, they destroyed the dream of the Muslim Brotherhood by taking away the president, the second dream of controlling Egypt is gone. Then 
The Egyptian and the Saudi and the Emirati, they support a general from Libya. His name is Haftar. And he invade the areas which is controlled by the Muslim Brotherhood. And right now, actually, he is surrounding Tripoli. And they are controlling a small part of Libya. And most of Libya now is controlled by the enemy of the Muslim Brotherhood. All this area is controlled by the enemy of the Muslim Brotherhood. So Erdogan's dream is gone. This is why Erdogan just two weeks ago, he signed an agreement with this little tiny government to uh, to make like, uh, or let us say, uh, um, uh, an agreement of war, like we would defend you. But that will not work. Algeria did not accept. Uh, even Tunisia did not accept. And the Egyptians are supporting already this general here. So Erdogan is going to withdraw. And obviously, the, the general Haftar is going to take over Tripoli, Tripoli soon, sooner or later. So this was the plan, and the plan did not work. And thank God, did not work. Now, about Iran, Iran was trying their best, actually, to support their plan, this plan. Because Muslim Brotherhood, for many people, do not know. It is Muslim Sunni, yes, but it is funded by Iran. Actually, the first center for the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt was paid by Al Khomeini. The first center, which means the headquarter of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, the first center was a donation from Iran, from the from the mullahs. So they have a full control. This is why Hamas support Iran. Uh, Muslim Brotherhood, they are friend. Uh, uh, you know, when the Muslim Brotherhood took over Egypt, the first visit for the president it was to go to Iran because those are his boss. So at the end of the day, the one will 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 control is going to be for the benefit of Iran, and they will spread their Shia. So the plan did not work. Their plan is demolished, and they are not able to do anything. Now, what will happen with Iran? The president he did not say anything except we will not allow them to have their nuke which mean we have a plan but in the right time in the right moment and i think he will wait for the coming year to come win the election because now he took the the, the carpet from under that the the, 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 the uh, democrat uh, for they will use any attack he used now against him in the election so he did not, he sounds like now he's like a peaceful man. He don't want, he speak about peace. He don't want war. And that is something the Democrat really they don't like. Because now what they will have to use against him, what they will say, you killed the general. Well, general is a killer, is a, is a criminal, is a terrorist. So he did a smart move for the sake of election. But yet, if you ask me, I will not do that. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. I hope what we share with you is something helpful. I am from the Middle East, as you know. I grow most of my life in the Middle East. Arabic is my first language. I know how those people think there. People there, they understand one language. Intimidation. So if they think that you have a fear, you are a loser. They will eat you alive. Those are countries of intimidation. Even in the street, even your neighbors. Your neighbor, he tried to intimidate you. Everybody try to intimidate everybody. It's like an ocean, and the rule there is big fish and small fish. There's no law, there's no justice, there's no ethic. It is intimidation. And this is why the American they should understand that if the Iran look like now they were able to do intimidation to USA, that will make them go more aggressive because they will think, oh, they, we scare them, you know. But I think the Iranians are not that stupid. They knew they are no match to America. And obviously now they will think uh, they will be worried more. Because this guy, he did not say anything. What he would do? What exactly this message is about? He did not tell us what he would do. He will hit or not? He will not hit? Is he going to hit next month maybe? What does that mean? I will not allow you to have nuclear facility. So his, his message is kind of mystery. And it looked like he left the door open for something to do later. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. I have some work to do. And uh, for those who get offended by what I say, I'm happy that you get offended. Because that means I'm hitting the nerve. And your nerve is hurting. And you are learning. 
Christ is Lord and everything is else is false. Take care and see you soon again. I will try to go live on air at night if I can. So you will, you know, subscribe to my channel if you like it and you will be, you will be with us. Take care and God bless.